Hi, I'm Steve Mascari and welcome to Workshop Essentials. I have got a very stiff knob on my bandsaw. It's, it's really difficult to, to grasp and I'm starting to get arthritis in my hands, so it actually hurts now to move this up and down. Now I've had this machine since it was new, they, since they first came out. This is one of the first ones that were produced. 1998 it says on the machine plate. And it wasn't long after I bought this that they changed two things about the machine. They put a brake on because the stopping time regulations changed and they altered this knob. Instead of this big chunky cylindrical knob, they put a tricorn knob on like I've got on my uh, mortiser and it made it much easier to turn. But that doesn't help me, does it? And I can't get at the mechanism to find out why it's so stiff. It's, it appears to be riveted in place. So short of drilling out the rivets and, and cleaning it and stuff, uh, there's not much I can do. Sure, I can squirt some PTFE up there, and that does help, it's, there's no doubt it does help, but it doesn't really solve the fundamental problem that it is uncomfortable to hold and operate this knob. I've got two options, I think, for making this work easier. I can attach a um, crank handle to this, so they wind it up and down. I've already replaced the knob on the top with a crank, which makes tensioning the blade a lot easier. Or, and what, this is what I'm gonna try first, I'm gonna turn it into an oversized wing nut so that I can uh, move it like this. And that way I'm not going to run the risk of uh, getting in the way of my light fitting here. So, I've made a wooden wing nut like this. Dead easy, even I can make it. Turned a wooden disc, a plywood disc on the lathe. And then routed a very shallow groove in the flange. Perfect. Cut a butterfly shaped piece to fit. And glued it in place. And this is what I'm left with. Now this knob has got 15 uh, ribs and ridges around its circumference, which is handy because it divides nicely into three. So I have drilled a four millimeter clearance hole in the knob, followed by a three millimeter pilot hole in my plywood disc. And the result is, I've got a knob that fits in there like that. This is fantastic. I love it. I love it. Triggers, triggers mallet for this one. Lovely to use. And then I've just got some screws which hold it in place. Nice. There we go, and that is just so much easier. I've got no pain, it's easier to get hold of, and it moves perfectly adequately. So, if you've got a machine that needs a little bit of improving, why not look for a solution like this? It was quick to do, it was fun to do, and it cost nothing. So, um, that's three good things in my book. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, enjoy your workshop. Cheerio!